Hi there, Robin here from Expert On, and today we're going to be talking about the Alto Professional Uber FX. But we can't really talk about the FX model without actually bringing out the PA model. When you're online, you're looking at these, if you go to a website like Alto or you go to Amazon or we our website, what's going to happen is you're going to see speakers that look similar in the pictures because they're always in white backgrounds, that sort of thing. Maybe you might see a lifestyle image, but if you don't see them side by side, you don't really get to appreciate the differences. A six and a half inch speaker with a two inch tweeter on it, weighing in at just over 16 pounds versus an eight inch with a three inch tweeter and all the effects this one weighing in at 24 and a half pounds. Now, this one's on wheels, the FX model, this one's not. Easy, less than 20 pounds to carry. Because it's over 20 pounds, they wanted to make it even more convenient by adding the pullout handle and the wheels in the back, which we'll take a look at in a minute. Now, outside of that, they come in really nice boxes. So, though I don't do unboxing, I will let you see what a box looks like. This is the box that the actual PA came in. Nice box if you're buying it as a gift for somebody really appreciate the package when it arrives the effects comes in just a bigger version of the same box that's what we're looking at except now it says uber effects on it and it's big enough to accommodate when i did the unboxing this is what came out of the box it was that simple i mean nothing more complicated than that buy a box get one of these inside of it pretty simple so from there, let's talk about some of the differences and similarities of the two products. They both have two line input capability. They both offer the ability to switch between mic and line. They both use combo jacks on them. Of course, they both have volume and gain controls to go across the actual lines. They also both have Bluetooth. Now I figured this out because they both have 100 feet of range on them. So that means that we're gonna have version 4.0 or better in these units. Range is really good because you're gonna probably keep the phone with you not with the actual unit. But if you do need to keep the phone here because you need to charge it, they have built-in chargers on both models. So a nice added feature there as well. And they both have mixed audio out, so we can plug this into some other PA system. And just to be on the safe side, they both come with a 3.5 auxiliary input jack. Those are the similarities. Outside of that, again, six and a half inch, eight inch. Two inch tweeter, three inch tweeter, 50 watts of power, 800 watts of power. So big differences when it comes to that. Sound quality and distance. The sound quality is gonna be close to comparable between the two at medium volume levels. As you turn them up and stand further away, let's say we're 12 feet away, this one will sound up to three times louder than this one because with the larger driver, it'll carry further before losing uh, energy in the sound. So that's what's going on there. Now they both are built out of a very rugged plastic rubber type combination material and they both offer handles on the side. They're both easily accessible from the back if you need to replace the batteries that are built inside. They do both have an exaggerated number of hours because they literally talk about standby hours. Uh, so yes, the box will compare say 45 hours on the effects, 50 hours on the PA but the more you use it, the less time you're gonna get. So be reasonable, say anywhere between six and eight hours of playtime off of a unit, either one. And that's a lot of playtime for something that you're just gonna be on battery alone. So you'll be able to use it all day long, no problem, regardless of the one you get. Now, if we turn the effects around, now we get to see that right in the back here, we have a screw panel that can be removed and another screwed on panel back here. And that's where they keep the battery. And the batteries are available online as well. So if you want to replace them, easy, done. Now, on the effects model, we do get a big added feature and that's the effects part. That is supported through a processor built by Alesis and programmed by them. Uh, it comes with 15 different settings, including a bypass in case you just want to get around it and you don't want to have to worry about that at all. That is really nice. And level controls for both of them. Now the extra feature that's on here, and that's a big plus, is you get bass and treble controls so you can adjust the sound the way you want. So yes, you are paying more for this unit, but you're definitely getting a lot more out of it. Uh, again, the handles are really well built. Everything's rugged, extra screws, extra fasteners all the way around to make sure this unit is going to stay together in one piece. Big chunky rubber wheels on the FX 
And again, like I was saying earlier, you get a full pull-out handle, just like a luggage, makes it easy to roll around. So you can take all your equipment with you and not have to worry about having this over your shoulder. So there we are. Now let's talk about a couple of add-on things because I mean, all by itself, it's great, but reasonably you want to have everything battery powered. You might want to have a wireless microphone, which is really nice. And that is going to have to plug into the unit somehow. This particular model, which I recommend with this guy, because it's a good add-on if you're going to do any type of street performance, uh, because it runs off basically AAA batteries, or you can actually plug it into the USB port and it'll power it up. That just plugs into here. That now allows you still to be able to plug in your guitar or anything like that. But let's say you don't want to have a handheld microphone, which by the way, UHF has got fantastic range, as much range as the Bluetooth does. So you're probably going in between 65 to 100 feet away with this kind of setup. And again, we haven't plugged in the wall. It's all battery powered. So looking for options like this is what makes a product like this even better. At the same time, if you don't want to be with your tied up while having a handheld mic, you can also buy the 12 model, which offers you the option of both a headset, which again, will work great with this. Uh, if you're doing any magic or any type of show and you, know, you need to be able to interact with the audience, uh, having a headset on or a wireless lapel which is okay for outside, but you're still gonna get rustling, so I would stick with the headset, but you do get both with this package. And again, UHF, 32 channels, the range is incredible. If you need even an extended range, they both come with antennas that pull out. That helps support a speaker like this to work even better, because a lot of times, a speaker alone is not good enough. We need to have the right accessories to go with it. Uh, at the same time, if you're a street performer, yes, you can always buy better. You can always you know, go out and buy a JBL or anything like that. I'm not picking on any one particular brand. You can buy a line array with rechargeable in it from JBL, uh, Bose, whatever not. But you really want to be out in public necessarily with this big giant rig that costs you way over $1,000 uh, when you might have your guitar case open. I don't know. So this is going to sound great. You're not going to worry too much if you ding it up a bit. And it's gonna give you exactly what you want at the end of the day. You're gonna to wanna to have a great performance to put out to the audience, and you're gonna to wanna to have something that you can easily bring to the site and take back with you. So let's bring it to the back, take a listen to both the FX and the PA. This way you can judge for yourself. We're gonna set it up only at 12 feet, cause that's a reasonable distance, cause normally, you know, if you're using a speaker like this, people are standing around. And we're also gonna set it up just on the floor. You can put it on top of a table, but the odds are, if you're a street performer, if you're taking this out with you, it's going to be on the floor. So we'll play it on the floor, and uh, then you, we'll bring it back to the table and see what you think.
border road The blue sky will take us home We'll take it easy, we'll take it slow It's a good day for the road Okay, so here we are. We're going to do a little sound check. We first have the Uber PA, and the gain levels on the microphone is set at 75%. I'm using a corded mic with an XLR cable, and the microphone is a Shure PGA 58. So if you're looking for a live microphone, this is a really good way to go. And uh, yeah, so the master volume at 75%. Gain for the line is at 75%, and we do, of course, have it in the mic mode. So now we're going to give a little audio test on the FX. We've now plugged it into the FX, and of course, I have the Uber FX Elisa's setting turned up a bit, so this way you can hear what it's actually doing for us. Uh, again, the gain control is set at 75%, and the master volume is also at 75%. Still talking to you on a PGA 58 Shure microphone, and uh, the setup is on a condenser microphone connected to the camera so this gives you a feeling at about 12 feet what it sounds like definitely you're not hearing me anymore you're hearing me through that speaker for sure so there we are that concludes our portion of the live audio me talking through the speaker test so regardless if you're looking for the actual uber pa just for sound reinforcement or if you're looking for the Uber FX, which is definitely much stronger and you know full richness of sound with the bass and treble control and the added effects, they're both really good speakers. Again, sound reinforcement, I need to get my message out there. The Uber PA is definitely gonna do that. If I'm actually playing uh, an instrument or you know I'm out there and I wanna get a whole sound to come out of a system, not just my voice for talking, but I do wanna sing, I wanna have that presence in the space that I'm in, the Uber FX is definitely gonna do it. You're probably not even gonna use half of the volume in it most of the time, but it's just there to give a full rich sound to the whole system. Now, they both come with great warranties and they're both very rugged. So it really comes down to how you're gonna use it. What's your intention, right? If you need a portable system that's easy to use, these are both great choices. I'm gonna say, the Uber PA, just like its name, it's for a public address. It's for getting your voice out there, making it easier for you to talk to a lot of people, regardless if it's an indoor or outdoor event. Same thing here. This though is gonna be strictly, I'm gonna say, I want more sound reinforcement. Yes, I can go to the Uber FX, but really if I'm going to play a guitar, drums, any type of instrument, and I really wanna bring that, that sound to life, I'm gonna look at this. Now remember, these are both available on our website, and they are also available on Amazon. Uh, the effects, if you don't see a link down below, uh, it may just still be available at Guitar Center. We don't have links for Guitar Center, but you can find it there. But if you're looking for our affiliate link, it's gonna be for Amazon. So if they're there, we're gonna have this in an affiliate package uh, along with the other accessories that we talked about because a speaker alone isn't gonna do the job, you kinda of need the other things. So we'll put a package together showing you all the other accessories that you may like to buy with a product like this. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Uh, we do try and get back, I do the Q and A's, uh, and if I answer your question there, I'll send you a reply letting you know that I've answered your question on one of the Q and A's. If not, I try, if the questions are easy, we just hit them right back as quickly as we can. So thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next video, and bye for now.